Should you really study your passion? Let's find out. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Andy Johansson and today we're going to discuss if it's smart to study your passion or not. Just before we start, this is my point of view. This isn't some kind of rule book. This is purely my point of view if I think it's smart or not. And there will be positive sides to, to this and there will be negative sides to this as well. So I'll be discussing both. Do you like the new way I put up the studio, it's still work in progress, but is it better than last time? Do let me know. Now, let's get to the video. I've always had a, a great passion for film in general. Uh, when I was 10 years old, I started making video shows with my teddy bears. I used my mom's old camera, and I remember there were cassette tapes uh, in that camera, so we had to run it through some kind of special device to actually get it into uh, the computer, but still managed to create these shows and I never really showed it to anyone. I just purely enjoyed the process of actually making them. And that sort of passion had just grown more and more. The passion for photography came later. Uh, I met people that was really, really passionate about photography and I was invited along with some of these, these guys through other friends and their passion really inspired me and after a while we became really, really good friends and that passion for photography just increased. I really saw like how you can take a photo and add it into something really, really cool. It's just like really filled me with joy being outside taking photos. It was, it was absolutely so great. Now, today, well, this, this passion for film and photography has just grown more and more and I'm out there with my best friends. Uh, this, this is people that I've met on social media uh, and I never actually had any relations with before, but then I met them through social media, we went out started taking photos. You don't worry about anything else, you just enjoy the process of getting some very nice photos. It, this can be f in regards to a project or it can just be for fun. That's when I really feel the most alive, that it just fills me with joy. So for me, I really never considered studying my passion, because I had one fear. What if I lost it? What if I lost that passion, that feeling of joy I feel when I go out there and take photos or I film for someone or something? But the thing is, that is my fear. But am I wrong? Is it smart to study your passion? So let's find out. Let's discuss it. I have never studied film in my life. I've never actually went to university, I never went to school to study film or photography. I studied business and marketing. I did that on purpose, because I had already started my media company when I went to university, so I had pretty much made my mind up of what I needed to learn. Uh, I needed to know how to, to run a company most efficient, because my media company, yes, I'm ma making films and I'm, I'm, I'm doing f photography as well, but I'm, I needed to know how to run that business because in the end it is a business as well. So I went on to study business and marketing because marketing is important because if, if you don't know marketing, then it doesn't really matter how good you are at what you do. Like you need to be sure that what you are creating is to get to your audience. Let's say for me that I had to go and study film, I had to go study photography there I would probably learn a lot of stuff that I wouldn't find interesting. Would it be helpful? Yeah, maybe, but I wouldn't find it interesting. And remember that this is my passion. I would be forced to learn stuff that I don't find interesting. Also, depending on what kind of university or school you are getting into, the people there might not be as passionate as you are. So you might end up in a group that's 
completely uninterested in film. They're just there to be there. And then you have to work in a group with people that's not interested in doing this in the future, that they are, they are, not, pas they are not as passionate as you are. That might kill your passion because you're being forced to do something you don't want and you're actually really passionate about it, but for that you are not. So you're working in a field you're passionate about, but for that certain project or group project you're not passionate about and the group there, the group mentality just kill your wife. And that's the main thing for me that I was really scared of, because uh, I have a friend that that happened to he is really, like, he's still working with film, but he told me that working with that sort of people at that university, they had projects together in groups, and people were totally uninterested. They left things to the last minute, and uh, he just completely lost the passion to make film. Of course, he managed to get that back after in the end, uh, but he struggled a lot and it was t tough for him. So then we're coming over to the, the positive side. If you manage to get into a university where the group of people have the same mentality as you are, that they are passionate about what they're doing, they're passionate about the art, uh, then that's something completely else. Because then you are, let's let's compare it with me and my passion, like I met people through social media that had the same interests as me and they infected me with that passion. That is one of the reasons why I am doing this today, where I'm, it's led me to the uh, so many amazing things. So if you get into those types of environments, that's a really positive thing. And I want to use one friend of mine, one partner I'm working with a lot. He uh, it's now uh, in, an, in a university in Norway and uh, to get into that university he actually had to make a short film. In that way the university actually like blocks out people that don't really want to do it. It's only people that really want to come in that actually gets in. Because I remember he told me that he had a friend that really wanted to get into the school but he didn't really want to do the short film. He was lazy, he didn't, didn't really care for it. So then in that way, the school or the university, uh, they are choosing the ones that actually want to do it. As I said before, that makes the situation completely different. Because then you're in the room with people as passionate as you and then they just drive you forward. Like, so he's now doing uh, music videos for famous people in Norway. He's doing really good at the moment and uh, uh, he's super cool. And even though he's going to university now, he's not losing his passion at all. He's continuing to work, he's working more than ever before. He's more successful now than ever before, he's more passionate than ever before, and he's just doing great. And he's working with a group of talented people all the time. So that's the really good part of actually finding that type of environment, or that type of place to study where they can drive you forward, drive your passion forward as well. But this type of university, it's a, it's a, it's a private school in Norway, all official schools in Norway that you don't have to pay for, but private ones that you have, they, they you have to pay for quite a bit. So the school has better resources for you as a student. And with this, being that they're blocking out the people that don't want to come in there, they are only getting in people that really wants to be there. And that just change it, changes everything. So, is it a positive thing or a negative thing to study your passion? Well, it depends. It really depends on what kind of university or school you're going to. And it really depends on what kind of people are in that environment. The risk is that you will lose your passion if you go into a university where the people that are studying there are not really interested in what they're studying. Like, on the other hand, if you are accepted by a university, a private school where they're actually choosing their students, where they actually, they're actually testing the students before they're able to, to, to get into the school, then it's completely different. Uh, if you find yourself in that environment, then you might enter a group of people that are super passionate about what you're doing and you will just grow from there. You will probably have a lot of good contacts when you finish. 
you will have an amazing time. Going to a university is absolutely fantastic. I loved every moment of it. Some of my best friends I met at that university. The university experience, the university life, I will highly recommend. But as I said, you don't have to study exactly your passion. It can be aspects to your passion. For example, me, for me, it was the business and the marketing aspects for it. I would really, really hope that you get to experience the university life because that was just amazing. So again, is it smart or not? It depends on you and what you want to do. I never study my passion and I am still doing okay. There, you will find everything on, on the internet these days. There are a ton of courses you can do. You don't really have to go to a university to, to learn filmmaking or to learn photography. Uh, getting in touch with people that now today I consider my super good friends and I'm constantly getting in contact with people on social media that have the same interests as me. They always inspire me, they always teach me something new, uh, especially when we are out taking photos or doing a project together or just being out, just being outside having fun with cameras and experimenting with new things. Like these things I do learn from, but I learn by doing. And that's the most preferred way for me to do it. Doesn't mean it might be that for you. I'm just saying that you don't have to go to a university to learn all this stuff. Going to a university might be very expensive. And I'm just saying there are other options for you. In the end, it's all up to you. You have heard my points of view. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got something out of it. Maybe I helped uh, your decision in some way. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below and I'll, I'll uh, answer them as soon as I can. Do you think it's a good idea to study your passion? So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, share and subscribe, please. It really do help me out. And share it with your friends. And uh, yeah, I will be posting videos every, uh, every Tuesday. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.